but we did find this. This is the pigtail harness for Pites' controller and it broke a pin. Well, when I say it, it was probably us at some point in time, but I think it was when we were fixing everything and assembling the wire, we tugged a little too hard and it broke. So that means Phoenix right now is on the stock map. We are not running Pites' controller, which means I can't send her. Well. I shouldn't send her. <laughs> but what is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today we are headed over to West Coast Exotics. That is right, because Hunter over there told me that he has a car I might be interested in and I do want to drive some of the cars that are on my list. So uh, let's grab Phoenix and let's head out. Update on the garage coming soon, you guys. It's she, She's almost done, she's almost done. And where did Sean go? All right, a little uh, cold start for the boys. <laughs> I'm not ballin'. I don't have like a bunch of cash. I'm gonna try and scrape up everything I can in order to get this car. So budget is definitely in mind. All right, I just had to pull off. I was about to get on the freeway and she's smoking. We got a good amount of smoke in there. I don't think now's the time to do a two-hour road trip, so I'm gonna bring the C8 home. I thought everything was good. There's no reason she should be smoking, so I just don't think this is something we're gonna figure out on the side of the road. It seems like burnout, but like, you wanna be safe here. I'm like definitely, definitely nervous to be driving this car right now after the fire until we get all the bugs dialed. So uh, let's take her back. Better safe than sorry. We're still working out a few kinks on the system after the fire, so I think we'll be uh, back and ready to roll shortly. A little bit of smoke. Yep. Yep. All right, take two. Driving the truck. Audi R8, Huracan 582, Ferrari 458, or anything else. <laughs> I mean, what do you think I'm gonna say? The Huracan 582. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not even. <laughs> like, you can't. You're not. You can't drift the R8. I'll say that much. About. Wendy's, I think, has my favorite spicy chicken sandwich so far. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. You know the most hilarious thing about all of this is? What? I'm about to go buy a supercar, maybe, and we're sitting in a gas station eating Popeyes, and I wouldn't have it any other way. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Food review. This would be a lot cheaper than making car content. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Pickles are solid. It's got a firm crunch. Very juicy. Overall? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. What? I think Wendy's is my favorite so far. What do you give Chick Fil A? Honestly, I give Chick Fil A like a five out of ten. Chick Fil A is really good with the Chick Fil A sauce. You know, this might this tastes a little fresher, <laughs> even though it's probably not. All right, Dry. back to car content. All right, we just pulled up here at West Coast Exotics. Is that a Verde Mantis Huracan right there? I think there's a green Huracan right in the window. You can't see it, but uh, I see it. I'm going into this having no idea what it is I'm going to purchase. I And again, I keep saying going to purchase. I don't know if I'm gonna be walking away with the car today. I genuinely do not know. I more hope that something speaks to me while I'm here so I at least know what I'm in the market for. Oh yeah, that's not a Huracan. <laughs> hey, check this out. Just like yours, except not all beat up in twin turbo. And the bumper's not burnt. Yeah, that too. Oh yeah, look at the white interior. This is the 3LT interior too. Or trim, I should say. Oh, I know what you should get. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be getting Perfumante, but uh... I find myself naturally attracted to green. I believe this is the Verde Mantis, but as you guys know, my first car, the G35, was Verde Ethica, so I have a sweet spot just to where I am today of looking at buying a supercar to like what the first color of my first car was. It blows me away. All right, let's say what up to Hunter. What's up? What's up? Did I catch you at lunch? I have lunch whenever it works. So. <laughs> Ooh, so healthy too. Gosh. So you have your pilot's license. Well, I'm working on it. Almost done, so I have like two hours left. So Only two like, hours? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Mm -hmm. Huge congrats. Yeah, I'm flying at Archer 2. I really want to get a Cirrus and SR22. Yeah. yeah, that's what I want to get. Too small. 
You think it's too small? Yes, I haven't been in one, so I don't know. You need to, you could fly those, but they're full glass. So you're flying on like, your avionics aren't analog gauges, it's digital. Yeah. So. But there's a parachute. <laughs> yeah, there's a parachute for the plane, but you don't really need that. If you want to bail out, you're not going to bail out of the plane. <laughs> no, I know. You land it. <laughs> Ejector seat will come. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Press the button. I'm almost done with the written stuff. I have, I think I'm 76% way, through, like on my way through this online yeah. score right now. Okay, Cherokee 6. This is the Suburban of the Sky. It's 300 horsepower for a PA32. You could go 1,500 nautical miles on a tank. So you could fly to Seattle. In no particular order. With your handy dandy notebook, Nora. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, Huracan, dream supercar. Okay, I like that. Gallardo. Uh, that's your dream supercar? No, that's what you said. You wrote that in there? You wrote dream supercar. No, I did not. Green, I... green. The color This green. is dream. Oh, I guess I did write dream supercar. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a new game>. <laughs> <laughs> Video's over. <laughs> a Gallardo in green? You want a green one? I, ha I have a, a 08 Carbon Brake Verde Ithaca Gallardo. If available. I get a Lamborghini, it has to be in Verde Ithaca or Mantis. I'll take either, okay. but because my first car I ever bought, it was Verde okay. Ithaca G35. <laughs> I just don't know driving an R8, truthfully, if I would ever feel like I'm driving a supercar. Yeah, it's tough. It's, they're too good mm -hmm. to be like feeling like a supercar, you know what I mean? And you can't like make it not like that. We all like R8s. Alex, Alex owns two or three R8s. Yeah. Everybody has an R8 because it's super comfortable and nice technology. It's an amazing platform to mod on. Like. It is, it is. F430. One yeah. of my favorite cars. I used to have one myself. 360, we just crossed that off the list. <laughs> um, already told everyone I'm not getting a 360. 458, amazing car, tough to mod. Like, well, that could be a good thing for me, so I won't modify it. Yeah, we know right? that that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already we're shopping not, for twin turbos for the thing if I bought it. Here. Come on. <laughs> MP Gordash 12C. I, I've, thought I've, put that I've thought about it. put that on the list. I've thought about it, and I think that's another one that's gonna get crossed off. I might consider the 570S though. Mm -hmm. Not to talk bad on McLaren anything, but 12Cs in particular, 650s, anything like that. Super, 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 super expensive to fix when they break, not right. if they break. And a lot of heads are lifting with tunes right now. So mm -hmm. you see a lot of cars down, really expensive. I've the trans that. are like 38 grand. So you can't should, get we one. Should buy, so we should just buy a, a broken McLaren and put an LS in it or something that doesn't break. Mm. Mm. You know, I just said the Prius would probably be the last stupid build I do. <laughs> I think we should put a, a K20 in the 650. Now we're talking. We have one. It's in a Prius right now, but we do have one. No, no, we, we'll keep that one. That's We need a daily. About a daily from a daily from a daily. 570S, good car. I like that. Congrats, Dustin, by the way. Yeah, he should be coming here soon, hopefully later, so I can drive it. Um, let's see. R35 GTR, are you talking about an R35 or? I was until Stradman bought one and now DD is buying, buying one, so I kind of want something. But everyone has a Lambo, I don't know. AMG GTR Mercedes, phenomenal. According to Mad Farah, that's a penis car. God, well, if you like penis, that's the car for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> AMG GTR is phenomenal. It's yeah. phenomenal. What, what does Matt not like about that? Or he just, maybe he loves it, I don't know. <laughs> 997 Porsche, if it's a turbo, but then you're gonna spend like I think the 997's out. your whole life on mods. Taycan? No. Taycan's Stop. out. Yeah. Stop. I was I was trying to get a practical daily there, but no. No. Viper ACR. Is there anything else that you think might be on the list? Viper ACR is cool. Yeah. I don't know. That thing's like a boat. I don't think it, I can It's daily. a handful. Okay, you guys, so I think we've narrowed down the list. We got two Lamborghinis, we got the Huracan, the Gallardo, the Audi V10 R8, a Ferrari 458, or a McLaren 570S. These are not out, they're not completely no, but I think this is what we are actually really considering right now. What do you have of these? I mean, I can, <laughs> I can get you any of them. What, what kind of cars do you want? Um, so let's see. Oh, 550 2 Gallardo. You want a rear drive? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I want a daily driver that is going to excite me and hopefully scare me at the same time that there's room if I want to mod it that hopefully I don't mod. You know what I really want to what? drive? What? A stock C8. <laughs> Why, because yours isn't on or what? <laughs> Just to remember what it was like. The good old days. Yeah. The magic is back here. Oh, look Mexican at that. Power. Look at that. Got a couple twin turb skis back there. Is there more back here? Yeah. DLK 63 AMG Black Series. Surprise at the bike video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black, black wheels, V10 R8. You know what it is about the R8 that makes it not feel like a supercar other than like the whole driving and Audi? 
It's the rounded nose. Welly, 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 well. Sticker must remain in place until a federal used car buyer's guide is, so I don't want to deal with it. Is the R33 for sale? Yes. How about this one? I like 4.8s, but what are you going to do power wise? I don't know. Twin turbo? I did see, you keep talking about underground racing. I did see that they twin turbo the one. I don't. Like two? I do glossy stacks on and go gnarly and a build. But that'd be, that'd be really stacks. sick. Yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Yeah. But then um, at the same time, why not just get a 488 our at that friend, point? Our friend Brett is doing a 458 GT3 build. Yeah. Really? Like right that's now. what I want to do. That's like, like right now. That's like a dream build. Like yeah. I, so TJ Hunt bought a wrecked 458 yeah. GT3 wide body, painted it that beautiful green. That is probably one of my favorite supercars. And you guys know me, I'm gonna try to mod it. Yeah. What's up, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. Likewise. What are you doing here? Shopping. Yeah? <laughs> you already show what you're thinking? Or? I don't know, you grabbed the, the yellow Huracan that I was looking at. That Shut was up, you weren't looking at that. You weren't looking at that. She, that's one of the options. Is, uh, is a Huracan. Is a 560, or 550, that's true. You should do it. You no, got 580. 580, 580 yeah. The white one? No. 580. What is that? The white no, one that's a uh, 6 10 4 oh, okay. 2016. But damn. Yeah. damn. So did you go to test drive one or something? No, we're about, about to. to. I was like interested in getting like a 720S. Yeah, no. Or like I would like a f some type of Ferrari, but like. I would, see, we're looking at the 458 inside. You should get a gated Lambo of some kind. That's what we're talking about, the Gallardo. Mm, I like gated that. Gallardo? Yeah. I like gated Gallardo. Gallardo or the Huracan. Oh, they're ungodly slow. Yeah. Mercy? I Is that out of the mercy. price range? They're, yeah, a little bit. And for a daily, I don't know if that'd be the best uh, option. Uh, but they sell. Do a twin so turbo R8. Oh, we're talking about that too. I like I like those. I mean, but that's I didn't do an R8 because it's yeah, not a Lambo. Yeah, that's kind of my. And thing. your car's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. What did you think of the stock Sienna when you drove it? It's good. You know, yeah. it's like it's like a 2020 Supra. It's now, like, now it's now we're gonna, crazy. We're gonna jump back to this clip when I let you drive mine. Oh, the, tur the twin yeah. turbo one. Yeah, that's a whole different <laughs> book. All right, we're busting out the Performante. I think I want to drive this too. I think we're gonna drive the V10R8. Right, we got the Performante, and then also the 458. Look at those tires, Jesus. R triple eights. Uh, okay, okay. This thing's sexy. It is. I love this car. Wow. Honestly, so different than the 48 too. How much does this cost? Uh, a couple of speckles, like <laughs> 350,000. <laughs> okay. This is this is very nice. Can I drive this one? Sure. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look who just showed up! Dustin Williams in his 570. You need an exhaust. Are you ready to join the McLaren family? Are you gonna make me buy a 570? I'm gonna make you buy a 570. I, this is on the list. I might have to get one. Yes. <laughs> this is nice. It? Yeah, I do want to drive, drive it. it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The sun is going down. I have a lot of cars to drive. This is this is exciting. This is long right now. Oh, look at those bucket seats. Oh yeah, not comfortable at all, but so something I would like in daily, right? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is dirty, but you know what this reminds me of? What? Daddy, I want a green one. <laughs> we have the 5.2 liter V10. This one's actually twin turbo. It's putting down what? 1,400. 1,400 right horsepower. Okay. And then 3.9 liter V8 twin turbo. Most Ferrari stores don't even have one of those yet. And honestly, it's I'm a sucker for the frunk vent too. Okay. So, okay, we have the perf, we have the F8. We can't drive the 458 because you guys are doing some special detailing yep. to it and it's not quite so ready soon yet. soon it will be ready. And I'm starting with the perf. There Let's do this. Let's right. go. <laughs> that sounds good. Driving the perf right off the bat. Went out with a 1400 horsepower uh, death trap but that's just what I like, and let's see how this could be as a daily, realistically. Is there a front lift on this? It is, but just got a pretty big angle. Wait till the tires warm up. Yeah. This has got a lot of pick-me-up. Oh yeah. Holy shit. I was honestly expecting the DCT to be a little more Aggressive between shifts. You're spinning. You put this pedal down. I mean, oh yeah, it, she goes. Yeah, we'll do a second gear hit rolling. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is a lot faster than my C8. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I can't wait till I get clutches on that car. <laughs> is traction control on? Yeah, it is. God damn it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I haven't bought the car. I don't want that responsibility. Should I turn it off? I don't know. 
I don't know. That's on you. you. That's up. That's up to you. Up to you. I, this car will spin. Let's turn it off. Let's like do. It'll let's do spin. a hit. Lambo features, not the best really. Not the best audio system, not the... <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost the camera there. <laughs> not the best at creature comforts. This thing just spins tires though. Yeah, it does. At least now, because realistically, I don't know that I'm in the market to buy a Performante. I mean, what's the price on this? So this one's three forty nine nine ninety. Oh. Twin turbo, stage two plus, titanium exhaust. Okay. Full Motec. So what about if I were to get a Performante stock? So Performante stock is still going to be two fifty two sixty. Okay. So and then if you do the same mods, so this car has everything from MV Forge three piece wheels, Toyo R triple eight R's, Novatec suspension, the Sheepy Race stage two plus twin turbo kit. Okay. Titanium so this exhaust, is, this is pretty heavily it's modified. It's pretty modified. And like I don't have. The, the an endless budget. I couldn't tell you exactly what my budget is because you know sacrifices can possibly be made if there's something that I'm absolutely just in love with. Yeah. But a Performante may be out of my price range. But that's not to say that we don't just mod the piss out of a Huracan. We could just give up the house. You, you can live what? in the car. This is true. Or maybe this has a, like at least a couple thousand a couple thousand pound towing capacity. We'll put a trailer on the back. Now we're talking. And you could you know big you could do both. You know yeah. I'll just live out of my Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm gonna be that person when I'm older who like lives in a trailer park but then has just like a bunch of like nice cars next to it yeah uh, priorities I, yeah i don't recommend that <laughs> that was scary <laughs> that was scary did it really yeah because here's the thing you're not this driving. car spins i've driven some crazy shit i've owned some crazy shit like thousand plus horsepower everything these cars have a mind of their own that's why you see a lot of people flat spinning stock huracans let alone twin this, turbo this ones is something you bring to the drag strip and put into the wall well, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say like the eights, but <laughs> wall two. No, but it'll go eight, four, nine. They've really? gone so far. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. And then what was the 60 to 130? Sheepy Race has the world record for the fastest stock motor stock trans half mile car in the world. No shit. Yeah. And it was, they're one of their Huracans. Wow. And it was Verde Mantis. All right. What do we drive next? I think we do the V10 right next. Or we could do the F8, it's right here. Oh, that's what I heard. Let's do the F8. I'm not gonna lie though, I didn't get daily driver vibes out of that car. The only downside is it has 70 miles on it, so you can't like drive it, drive it, because it's still in braking. How about I'll just drive it to the garage? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to add miles to something so rare. We'll drive the F8 to the R8. Hey look, Shibi Race is calling me. What's up? What are you doing in my hood? How do you know I'm in your hood? This is my hood. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you buying a car again? Yeah. Now. I don't know yet. We're test driving. I'm kind of between a 582, maybe a 458, 430, 570S, V10 R8. I already know what you're going to say, but... What should she get? No, really, what should she get? He's going to say the R8. Whatever your heart desires, you know. Oh, okay. God. Wow, Alex. look at that sap answer. This is definitely more comfortable. Oh, yeah. This is definitely more comfortable. And I feel kind of cool driving this right now. What are you guys selling this for? What's MSRP? MSRP is 320. We're asking 3399 or 3449. You just can't get them anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Needs downpipes and a tune. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's next? Let's try the V10. All right. This feels like an art piece. It is an art piece with plastic windows. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Next in. Yeah. Front end's even better. It's, it is a really pretty car. So out of my price range. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you guys next year. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to hold a camera, right? Nah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. This is pretty comfortable. This is a lot more comfortable than the Lambo. Is it? But the Perfect is also like just a pure bucket seat. Like there is no yeah. seat to that car. One of my favorite parts is for sure the display. It's, it's just, it's like, I feel like there's, it's bright. There's a lot of texture. There's a lot going on. This is a creature comfort car. Yeah. Have you driven one before? I've never driven an R8. You never driven an R8? No. You should drive an R8. So we're driving the R8. This is the car that a lot of people tell me that I'm absolutely gonna love. It is a V10 Huracan with the creature comforts of it daily. So let's yep. see. I don't even know how to put it in sport mode yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It needs horsepower. It needs horsepower. <laughs> 
Oh, oh yeah. after, after you drive 1400 horsepower. <laughs> Why did I start with the 1400 horsepower? <laughs> Come on. I think we all heard her say what exactly is going to happen. <laughs> uh, the, the writing, it's right in front of my face and I'm refusing to admit it. <laughs> if this is going to be a, a dailyable supercar, how does this feel versus the Lamborghini? This feels like the most daily car. This feels like it's it's comfortable. I could drive it. I could daily it, no problem. Obviously, you know it's a great platform. You could mod it. The Lambo, the one in particular that I drove was so overpowered. Not in the bad thing. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I think maybe I would have ditched the seats and got something a little more practical. But it's also a Performante, so more race oriented. I don't know. I want to drive a Huracan and I want to drive a 458. And I was really looking forward to driving that 458. Good. That felt good. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, that feels better. Oh, that feels a lot better. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think it was like cold, so it was limiting me a little God, bit earlier. There it is. Yes, okay, now we're talking. Now we're having a party. This thing revs so high. Eight and a half. Yeah, Jesus. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. <laughs> okay, what's next? I think the 570. I never thought I'd be buying one of these cars. Never in a million years. And I think that's why it's so hard for me to grasp. I haven't grasped the reality that I could potentially be buying. Well, I will be buying a supercar. See, it doesn't even register in my mind yet. The doors go off. Are you sold yet? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me right now. <laughs> We're gonna drive Dustin's 570 S. I just wanna sit in this Huracan real quick because I feel like I got a skewed point of view driving that Performante. I gotta see what the interior is really like. I've been in one, obviously, with Alex and Damon and all that, but I just, I just need to feel like a real interior for a second. See, this is a lot different. This is a lot different. I'm driving the wildest, most crazy cars in the world right now. This is absolutely insane. Oh, ho, ho. what year is this? It's 2019. 2019, damn, look at that. Okay. Okay, so we'll put you in track now. Let's go ahead and just, we'll go into active. Look at that. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Compared to a Lamborghini or compared to like the V10 R8, uh -huh. it is slightly underwhelming bone stuff. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a V10. But that just means there's potential. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There's tons of potential. So I'm not gonna let you drive. I'm hop on the GoPro. I want an honest opinion. <laughs> honest opinion. I'll give you okay. my honest opinion. I'll okay. give you my honest opinion. Okay. All right, let's do this. I wanted no, you to send good, it. You're good. <laughs> I'm glad too that like, because then I'm like not scared. Like, okay, you know, new yeah, car. Yeah, I wanted you to send it. Oh, that gets like that's so, that's a little tail hop. Yeah, the traction control in this car is phenomenal. This I think is the most crisp shift yeah. out of all of them. Yeah. Right, you gotta drive my C8. I do. I do. I love my C8. Like, it's my favorite car. I well, think it's it's my favorite out of all the ones I've driven we'll, today. We'll trade cars. We'll trade cars. Okay, we'll trade cars. I was gonna bring it and then <laughs> started smoking. It's pretty nice. You wanna launch it? Can I? Yeah, you can launch it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. You okay with me doing this? Yeah, I don't give a shit. For me, <laughs> that was fun. That thing just lit up, dude. It's good, right? Here, stop it. Stop it all the way. Just slam on it. No, just slam oh. on it. Stop on it. Okay. Now. Oh yeah, let's launch it. Let me just press the. Uh, I don't really know how to use it yet, so. <laughs> it's so much fun. This car is a lot of fun. <laughs> this honestly, I know this is a weird compliment. But it feels more tuner than the other ones I've driven. Okay, so that's what I always say. I, I explain this as the tuner car of the supercar world. Do you really? Yeah. yeah, and so what I say is the best way I can explain it to another car is if my S2000 was a supercar, yeah. this would be that car. So there was a little bit of an accident. Oh shit. Never 
Uh, I have no idea where we are. Send me a your location. Oh my god, you're, I'm so sorry. You're taking this. I'm just kidding, but you took it so <laughs> seriously. <laughs> now I feel. With us. Now. Okay, well, good thing you're not know, here. <laughs> You said that they got an accident, though. God. You guys suck. <laughs> you made me feel so guilty about it. All right, started with the perf. What now? Nah. You just drove the R8. Shorthanding thing. Drove the 570. I am honestly, I'm at a loss, but I'm starting to better understand a little bit more of what I want. I do want to drive a Huracan that's bone stock okay. just to see what the potential would be modding it. I want to drive a 458 and then... The 458's gonna be it. This isn't the first time we've talked about me buying a supercar. And we actually, I priced out yeah. a Lamborghini Huracan with you a like long a time ago. Like a year ago. Yeah. yeah. And it was yeah. a 580-2. Yep. And I ended up buying the C8 instead, but... Yep, I think it's 458, honestly. So we have the fun. only member of the 570 crew. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dustin Williams. <laughs> Look at me. Okay. Look at me. <laughs> I think I'm also now partly biased because I got to do donuts in it. So I think you should have sent me do donuts in some of the show cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great that's idea. That's the determining the factor, right Yeah, there. do some donuts in the F8. Yeah, that's chill, right? Sprint. 70 miles on the yeah. thing. Yeah. I'll add 10 more in donuts. If you do it in reverse, does it make the miles go down? Yes. I think it does. Yes. <laughs> That's what Ferris Bueller told me. I was just going to say Ferris Bueller. Um, I'm going to link your guys' stuff in the description below. West Coast Exotic Cars. Yeah. If you guys want to buy an exotic, Hunter's the man. Thank you. Um, and you guys do more than exotics, too. And then I'll also put Dustin's stuff in, in the description below. You do some crazy content. I love all of your JDM Japanese builds. Your GTR is a thousand horsepower. R35, absolutely sick. I love the Millennium Jade color that you went That's with nice. it. Yeah, he, it is. You're a global time attack race car driver. How cool does that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm sprinkling a little JDM <laughs> on the supercar world. You know. There you go. So. All right. Well, we'll talk about that later. We got some stuff in the works. Alrighty, crew. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. We out here with love. Bye. <laughs>